everybody. My name is Mark Duncan and I'm with Liaison College. You know, playoffs are coming up, tailgating parties are, are happening everywhere, and I want to show you a great recipe that you can use to impress your friends and it tastes good too. I'm, going to, I'm originally from North Carolina, and so as an end result, hey, we, we really like our pork down there. I want to show you how to make this recipe. It's pulled pork, North Carolina style, with a Lexington style finishing sauce. And here's how we do it. Since we don't have the big barbecue pits here, I wanted to do something very quick. So I put some pork right here and did this overnight in a crock pot. Now, what I did is I used between four and five kilograms of pork butt or pork shoulder. I put it in with a large can of diced tomatoes, I also put a little bit of cinnamon because that's my secret, some salt and pepper, and some water. Just enough to cover it. I cook this overnight and as you can see this is just lovely. Look at that. It smells wonderful. And you can see the little bits of tomato in here as well. Well, what I also did is I left the bone in. Now why did I do that? I left the bone in because there's a lot of collagen, a lot of fat on it. And as an end result, that gets imparted into the sauce and it makes it really, really lovely. So now it's nice and hot. I've just taken it out. What I want to do, put it in a bowl, I'm going to pull it. Now, if you want to use your hands for this, you can. I'm going to use two forks. Makes it a lot nicer, a lot quicker. It's very simple though because while the pork is still hot, just simply take your fork and run it through and separate all the pieces into little strands. Once this is done, you can set this aside and let it cool down because then we're going to make our finishing sauce and put over it and this is going to make some lovely, lovely sandwiches. Okay, that's done. So, like I said, I'm going to set this aside for just a moment. And then I'm going to get a pot. And I'm going to make this finishing sauce. Now, North Carolina, the Carolinas in general, are known for their barbecue sauces. There's South Carolina, which uses a mustard-based sauce. And then, in the eastern part of North Carolina, there's a vinegar-based sauce. In the western part is a tomato-based sauce. And right in the middle of the state is this lovely, lovely little place called Lexington, North Carolina. And they've taken a little bit from the east and a little bit from the west and combined it to come up with this sauce. Here's how the sauce works. I have about a cup and a half of cider vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar. I have about a half cup of water a half cup of ketchup, there's the tomato that they're going to put in it, about a half cup of diced onions, about two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and that's the little snap that you get. I also have a little bit of salt, we're going to put that in just for taste, and I have some curry powder. That is going to be absolutely lovely. All we do to make this happen is we combine these ingredients into the pot. So there goes the water and the vinegar. Here goes the onions. A little bit of the powder. Worcestershire sauce. Salt. Brown sugar to give it a little bit of sweetness. And last but not least, the ketchup. And I don't want to lose a single drop of this. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a boil. And we want these onions to reduce and get really nice and soft. Now, I'll guarantee you when you're making this stuff, you're going to want to make a double or a triple batch because some of this will actually go into the pulled pork, but then you're going to want a little bit extra on the side. And I'll show you what to do with that in just a minute. Let's reduce this, and I'll be right back. Well, through the magic of television, it's been about 15 minutes, and this is reduced very nicely. Now, the idea here is not to try and reduce this so it's really, really dry. You want lots of flavor. Which what you really want to do is you want to get rid of a little bit of the vinegar and reduce it down. And plus, the onions that you put in here, you want to become translucent. So, with that, I'm going to turn this off. Take a look. The onions have gotten to be a little translucent, and as you can see, this is really, really nice now. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put some on our pulled pork. But we're also going to take some and we're going to put it in a little bit, a little bit extra in a bowl just in case somebody wants something. I'll show you how to make that up in a second. So I'm going to put just about half of this on. And then I'm also going to put a little bit more in the bowl for dipping. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it in. Now I want these onions to get mixed in here as well. And the little bits of tomato that were already in the pork are going to be in here and give it a really, really nice flavor. Now, look how quickly the pulled pork absorbed that. That's why we have the extra. But now that this is done, the pork is set for a little bit. It's cooled down. We've put the sauce back on it so it's heated back up. You don't have to worry about heating this up. If you want to take this and you want to tailgate, take it, wrap it up in some tin foil. Make sure you also wrap it up in some plastic wrap as well. Keep all the, the bugs out. But take it with you, keep it on ice, pop it out, have a nice meal. Here's how you do it. We take a regular bun, and in North Carolina, what we do is we love fattening foods. So I've already made up a little bit of coleslaw. I'm going to take some coleslaw, and I'm going to put on the top of this bun. More the merrier. And I'm going to take two dill pickle chips and put on here as well. Gives it a little bit extra snap. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of the barbecue. I'm going to drop it on the bun. And I'm going to marry that together and a wonderful sandwich. Just like that. You can make these up ahead of time if you wish. It's a wonderful meal. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.